We now welcome in Stanford head football coach David Shaw, now former coach of New Eagles wide receiver draft pick J.J. Arcega-Whiteside. And coach, you've had the opportunity to coach and get to know this young man. Tell us what are Eagles fans looking forward to with him? At the most basic thing for J.J., the two things he does on an elite level, Number one is he changes field position. This guy makes big plays down the field, up the seam, on the outside. Uh, got great body control. He just changes field position. And secondly, he scores touch. He scores touchdowns. Um, when he gets one on one in the end zone, uh, he's got an unbelievable catch radius. He's got an unbelievable, uh, and I'm using that word truly, it's unbelievable body control. This guy fights through pass interference. Uh, people are grabbing him, pushing him. They try a bunch of different ways to stop him and he just goes up and elevates and takes the ball away, and it's, it's fun to watch. Coach, I think if by my count, he got he drew 11 flags in the secondary last year. Where just Defenses had no way to be able to stop him. What is it like as an offensive coach to have a guy that you know and everybody else in the stadium knows the ball is going to this guy and you can't do anything to stop us from getting it to him? Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's a great feeling, <laughs> and he is extremely quarterback friendly. He's gotten really good at getting releases and giving the quarterback a window to throw to. And what a lot of people forget is he's 225 pounds. So he doesn't get pushed off the spot very easily. So when he gets a release and he can hold the DV up the field, whether it's an inside release or an outside release, he gives the quarterback a good platform to throw the ball to, especially in a place like Philadelphia with the other uh, weapons they have there, getting uh, you know the, their speedster back to Sean and having – uh, your t- the tight ends that you have, and Zach doing a heck of a job to find a guy that had, when he has one-on-one that you can just put the ball down the field and give him an opportunity to know that he's going to elevate take the ball away. Um, that's a great feeling for a quarterback. Well, Coach, I'm glad you brought up the the other weapons in the Eagles' offense because I wanted to ask you, you know, obviously you guys at Stanford, you love to use those 12 and 13 personnel sets with multiple tight ends on the field. The Eagles employ a very similar kind of style with both Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard. What is it like when you've got multiple tight ends on the field and then a big-bodied wideout like J.J.? What does that do for a defense? Well, I mean, much like uh, you all over the last few years, we've studied what you guys have done. Um, that ability to, first and foremost, be able to run the ball uh, versus light boxes because you have guys that they have to double team. You have to play in and out on Zach. You have to play over the top of a good receiver. Um, and, and it helps you be able to run the ball. And then if you do get that single coverage, now it's kind of like pick your poison. Okay, which way is the safety leaning? If he's leaning one way, great. We've got a one-on-one on one side. If he's leaning the other way, i got a one-on-one on the other side. Um, with the routes, big body guys that can get inside, so sometimes when you have a great downfield receiver like J.J., um, they start to play outside levers to try not to give up the go ball. And then he can break inside and he can run away on dagger routes. He can run slant routes. He can uh, fit into your RPO game, which you guys have been extremely good at. Um, but his versatility combined with the versatility of the other guys, it makes it really, really difficult to defend. So we've talked a lot about what J.J. brings currently and in his game right now, but tell us a little bit more about his journey from the time that you started recruiting him until now. How have you seen him grow and develop into who he is today? You know, early on, he was just this young, wiry, lanky basketball player that liked liked football also. Um, And then we watched him his senior year just dominate. Um, he played so well. He played big time uh, football down there in South Carolina. Got a lot of attention, but he's also really, really smart. He's a great student. He's got a lot of interest. He wants. He was an international relations major. Um, he he interned with Condoleezza Rice last year. Um, has great. Has got great experience. He, he's born in Spain. He's bilingual. Um, he's very worldly, and you just when you're around him, you just feel positive energy, positive vibes. Um, but he works his tail off. So uh, being in Philadelphia uh, years ago in 1997 with the Eagles, um, they're going to love this guy because he will grind, he will work hard, and he will make plays. Yeah, we got to catch up with him a little bit last night, and you could just sense the excitement and the energy in his voice that you just mentioned now. Do you have any really good stories about him, any uh, funny or surprising or stories that just exemplify the type of guy he is? What, what would be like one of your favorite memories with him? Uh, two for me. One, one very specific uh, that I'll share is uh, it was a couple years ago we we we, we sputtered offensively, and 
you guys know big time receivers, you know, they're gonna come in and talk to the head coach, come and talk to the offensive coordinator <laughs> and say, Hey, you know what? I'm not getting the ball, you know, I need the ball, et cetera. JJ came in and said, Coach, how can I help this team? How can I help this team? Right? He said, Of course, you know, you throw me the ball, that's great. Do you want me to be uh, a more of a leader? Do you want me to be more vocal? Do you want me to be a better blocker? Do you want me to help encourage other guys? And I said, Yes, all of that. And he said, Great. And, and he said, Coach, I think I, I can I can help influence people. I think I can make people better. Um, I think I can, can provide the juice. And I said, Great, because we need it. And from that point on, for the last you know, two years, that's what he's been for our team. Just an energizer bunny, a positive human being, and a guy that cares about his teammates and doesn't just celebrate his plays. He celebrates his, his teammates' plays even more than he celebrates his own. Well, Coach, I'm glad you mentioned that last point because, honestly, during my film study, there were two things that really stood out, two specific moments. One was the UC Davis game down in the red zone, his first touchdown, where the corner just turned to the ref and just said, you know, start like, help me out here a little bit. Like, he's boxing this out. I've got nothing to do. They throw the jump ball to him in the, in the low post, and he comes down with it. But the other one was the USC game, and it was Bryce Love, long run down the left sideline. It was 50-plus yards. And here comes J.J. from the opposite side, from the back side, and he was a lead blocker out in front of Bryce Love. And you mentioned how much he looks forward to those big plays for his teammates. Can you just speak to that competitive nature and what he brings to the field from that standpoint? I think the phrase that gets overused – so much is love of the game. Some guys play hard because they're good at it. Um, I don't think they love it. JJ loves it. JJ loves it. He loves practice. He loves the games. He loves he loves his role. If he has to run to clear out for somebody else to catch the ball, he's like, I will do it at a hundred percent. That's just who he is. So when that long run breaks, and you see him accelerate, where you see a lot of receivers start to slow down because that's their opportunity to take a playoff. JJ speeds up. He gets faster so he can try to get in front of that guy and nudge that corner and hopefully get, as we call it, get that touchdown block. You know, the touchdown block is as important as a touchdown, and J.J. takes that very, very seriously. He is a great teammate. Well, it really, truly sounds like Eagles fans have so very much to look forward to having J.J. in the fold. Coach David Shaw, thank you so much for giving us a closer, behind-the-scenes look at the type of young man that the Eagles are getting. We appreciate your time.